Becky Vargo from the Grand Haven Tribune. Um, we're still at the scene of this crash on northbound US 31. Uh, we did find out that the injuries to the drivers were minor, so I will show you the car now. It's a dark blue traverse, dark blue, black, whatever. Here's the car. So we are on northbound US 31, just north of Comstock. The semis are in place, um, getting ready to right, or I'm sorry, the uh, tow trucks are in place, getting ready to right the semi truck. This is the car. This car was southbound on 31, uh, getting ready to turn east toward Meyer and Walmart. Uh, it turned, according to witnesses, turned in front of its semi. Uh, there is a, some of this debris has already been picked up, but there's a big debris field and we got a couple of TV stations out here, of course. Could they back us up? at least three big tow trucks that are hooking up. They're still picking up debris. We got backed up a little bit here. Firefighters were putting down, or hazmat team was putting down a bunch of sand off to the right. Uh, the the uh, tow truck drivers are picking up the debris out of the roadway. There will be more debris collection and uh, sweeping the road back behind us because there's debris spread from the intersection all the way up here. They are on southbound. You can see the traffic's getting pushed over into one lane so that nobody's turning into this turn lane to go toward Meyer and Walmart on Comstock. So it's, I imagine, pretty backed up now, um, coming south. Uh, it does, open for southbound traffic, it does open up right away again at Comstock. Northbound traffic is being diverted at Hayes Street. Um, and they are saying it's gonna, it's likely to be a good three or four hours before this is cleaned up. So if you're coming north into Grand Haven, seek an alternate route. They are diverting at Hayes Street for northbound traffic back on at Robbins Road. So this is just north of Comstock Street. The semi that we're looking at is pretty much even up with the Meyer gas station over there. Earlier in this video, I did show you the car that was involved with the crash. The uh, police said that the car is driven. Okay, the road cleaner is behind me. The car is driven by a 40-year-old Coopersville woman who suffered minor injuries in the crash. The semi is driven by a 49-year-old St. Joseph man who had also minor injuries, was able to get out of the truck on his own by climbing out the windshield where it broke out. sweep this. I 
again, um, injuries were at the very least non-life-threatening, I was told probably minor. noise a minute ago from the street sweeper city street sweepers out here cleaning up the road had the Ottawa County Road Commission was out here with some sand that the hazmat team and firefighters were throwing down we've got at least three tow trucks stationed around without me being able, I'm not being able, allowed to go ar around there, so I can't tell if there's anything else. Um, As a reminder, northbound 31 is closed at Hayes. You have to turn off at Hayes and go around and get back onto Robbins. Southbound is being narrowed down right after Robbins is being narrowed down to one lane just until you get around the section that you see in front of you. Then it opens back up. So southbound is slowed, northbound is completely closed here and will be for many hours, they say at least three to four. The uh, crash occurred about quarter to 11. Injuries are non-life threatening to the drivers of the semi-truck and the uh, SUV. There's a little movement down there now. Try to get in a little closer.
somebody's asking if this is right by Meyer, and I yes it is. Crash occurred right at the intersection of Comstock and northbound US 31. The car is still behind me in the median. Semi rolled and spun and uh, it's facing southbound. Both drivers are going to be okay. They're you for the people who are seeing the questions and responding if I don't see them. Probably notice we had Ottawa County Sheriff here, North Ottawa Community Hospital Ambulance, Grand Haven Township Fire, Grand Haven Department of Public Safety, Michigan State Police, like the cable took the uh, end cap off the truck. They're getting that out of the way.
for those of you who have just joined in right here. I'm going to turn around and let you see the car behind us. The car is still sitting there. The front of the car is pretty smashed up. There's the uh, intersection. The car was southbound, tried to turn left or east. Go toward Meyer and Walmart area. And the semi was northbound down there. You can see uh, Meyer gas station over there, a bunch of. Somebody said they're watching from Florida. This is northbound US 31, just north of Comstock Street. Just before you get into Grand Haven. Uh, crash occurred at about quarter to 11 this morning. Uh, injuries were non-life-threatening. Both drivers, only occupants in their vehicles. Um, both talking and complaining of um, what police said were minor injuries or appeared to be. Um, they were both taken to the hospital to be checked out. Uh, mostly we just got a big mess here to clean up. Doesn't look like much of anything's going on right now. Uh, they're reassessing, maybe. As you can see, toward right behind the cab, when they first started lifting, right where it was right now. The cable seemed to cut into the end plate, and they pulled that off, or at least part of it. And they're just still figuring out what to do, I guess. Hard to tell from back here. Nobody, we don't have anybody giving us that kind of information. Like he just pulled the arm down, maybe to loosen up the cable a little bit so they can change the location. That's a guess. <laughs>
for those of you just tuning in to this, um, the semi truck was hauling about 4,400 gallons of liquid sugar. The truck was bound for Ludington to deliver the liquid sugar to the House of Flavors. Uh, when, the, when the truck crashed and rolled, it uh, opened the uh, plug or device on top of the truck and the liquid sugar is spilling out. You can kind of see the wet underneath the tow truck there. That's liquid sugar that's coming out of the semi truck. Alright. We're gonna finish this up for the time being. for watching with me. If something starts happening, we'll try to get back on again.